In Nepal, rescuers pulled a man out of the rubble more than three days after Saturday's earthquake. This rescue is one positive sign from a region where desperation is growing. New video shows the quake as it happened from across the border in Tibet, where at least 25 people died. The overall death toll is past 5,000. Seth Doan is in Kathmandu, where some people are protesting over the government's slow response. Seth, good morning. Good morning. We are certainly seeing a growing sense of frustration on the ground here. Also a desire to leave Kathmandu, to leave the capital city, to go to these remote villages, in some cases to check on families, in other cases just with the hope that life might be better there. Still, we are seeing some stunning images of survival. Rescue workers drilled and pried for five hours, ultimately pulling 28-year-old Rishi Kanal out of the rubble alive. He'd been trapped near dead bodies for around 80 hours. My nails went all white and my lips cracked, he said. I was certain I was going to die. The stories of miracles here are few. On the streets of Kathmandu, we found mounting frustration and saw police in riot gear for the first time since the quake. This protest has popped up on the street corner here. People are yelling that the government needs to provide more aid and that there are not enough bus tickets to leave town. Hundreds lined up in dismal weather to try to get out of the capital. The government is offering free bus tickets to remote villages, but the buses are overflowing and tickets are scarce. 16-year-old Smita Rai felt lucky to get one. Why are you leaving yeah. Kathmandu? I'm leaving this Kathmandu because uh, we can stay now here uh, of uh, various diseases. Nearby at this camp for those displaced by this disaster, we found more people on the move. They came to avoid the aftershocks, but they're leaving because of a fear of spreading illness. Talking with people in these camps, we're hearing that people want to leave because they're afraid of, of disease. Are, are you hearing that too? Yeah, exactly the same because uh, some communicable disease are due to the overcrowding. He says the first disaster was the earthquake, but worries a second one could be coming, a health crisis. The colonel from Nepal's army who is running that camp told us that there were about 9,000 people living there on Monday. There were just 3,000 people living there today. And the doctors in the camp told us that they were seeing increasing instances of people with disease. And also, Charlie, you can imagine with this rain living outside, very difficult. Seth Noon in Kathmandu, thank you.